Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I do want to remind you guys to scroll down to the description section and make sure you consider donating to my Patreon. It greatly, greatly helps my channel, even if you only have $1 to give this month. It'll greatly help, and then we can put bigger and better and more ambitious videos together. So please scroll down, links are in the description. What's going on guys? Your boy Jay is back in the building, and today, well, I got another video for you guys. Today is not Dragon Ball Fighters, Shinobi Strikers, anything anime related, anything Assassin's Creed related, anything like that. It's basically about another game that I'm super hyped to play, and I've made previous videos on this in the past, but it's kind of been quietly put on the shelf a little bit. Today I'm talking about Darksiders 3. So there's some gameplay that finally came out. Uh, it came out a few days ago. IGN had the exclusive, so I wanted to wait and see what the response was on it before I made a video about it. That and I got pretty occupied with Dragon Ball Fighters, but, um, <laughs> and the Shinobi Strikers beta. But today I'm gonna review and show a little bit of you guys uh, what some of the game is like. If you guys aren't familiar with the Darksider series, it's something that you definitely, definitely, definitely need to check out. It is by far one of my favorite hack and slash platforming games of all time, next to like Jack and Daxter, which isn't so much like hack and slash, it's more platform action adventure. But anyway, uh, if you're a fan of the God of War series, you'll absolutely love this game. Um, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Hold on, let me click this like button, like how you should do on this video. Um, I just wanna go over a little bit. It's not too much, it's about a minute and some change. And uh, I have to say, man, IGN revealing this, I wasn't seeing a whole lot of stuff for this game anytime soon. But that has definitely changed now. Ooh. I don't know how late this build is. Damn, Fury looking good. Ooh, damn, girl. All right, so far the enemies are very reminiscent to the ones in Darksiders 2. And it looks like the combos are very similar too, so at least they have that going for them. The level, the level design and the extra like flares and stuff, the enemies look pretty similar. I like it, I like it. The lock-on system looks great. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Okay, this is interesting. All right, how are you gonna get through that? Is it a chain or... Oh, wow! Oh, what the fuck? Is that Reinhardt? What the hell? <laughs> oh, that dodge though, wow! That was looking smooth. This game has come a long way from its like blocky build that, sh that, that they showed last year. This looks dope. Dodge. Okay, cool. So they still have the. Wow, he was weak as hell. Oh, that's it. That's all they're showing. Okay. I mean, that's great. That's all I need to see. 2018. Okay. Hello, brother. Oh, Fury. Mmm. Looking nice, girl. Looking nice. Anyway, um, so right now the game, the game is looking dope. I like the build that they're showing off here. It's definitely something that impresses me because I'm a huge fan of the series. So I guess that's kind of biased. I guess you could say. But really, I'm more excited to see what the story is going to be like. So if you're not familiar with the previous two games, uh, War, who is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, uh, basically kind of doomed humanity, and then in his kind of idea to repent and like <laughs> I guess you could say like atone for the things that he did uh he's been locked away you know by I think it's like the guardians or something like that I don't remember who it was because it was such a long time ago but I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comment section as you guys always do um and then in the second game you play as his brother death and you kind of go and you're attempting to save him I don't want to give away too many plot points of that one because I actually just finished that again recently, um, which I'll probably do a live stream of both of those games before Darksiders 3 comes out. Let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comment section, and then we'll just go through both games and then kind of put the lore together before we play the third game. Um, but essentially, you're playing as Fury, who is tasked with actually going and I guess at some point you're supposed to rescue War? 
And then there's one other fourth, fourth horseman of the apocalypse, Strife, who I don't know if he's alive or I don't know where he is in the, in like the universe of this game, like where the timeline of this game takes place because they explain it in the first and the second game. Strife is kind of off just fucking around, I guess. But in the second game, you get Strife's handgun, you get his revolver, which kind of alludes to he might be dead. I don't know. I don't remember. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he shows up in the second game, actually. I can't remember, but uh, like I said, somebody will correct me in the comment section, but I'm really, really excited to play as Fury because she seems like, yeah, her whip is a little is a little weak, but I want to see some of the other weapons that you're going to be able to utilize. Maybe she can utilize hammers, gauntlets. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she has a, a few kick combos and like some boots and stuff like that. I don't know. But so far from this build that they're showing, the game looks great. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see more of it. They're probably going to polish it up a little bit more because even in this gameplay, it looks a little, it looks a little fuzzy, but I mean, you can only upgrade. I mean, you can only like have what I think it's 720. This is 1080 60 FPS. So YouTube already degrades quality. So it looks great from, from YouTube quality, from, you know, a secondhand source, it looks fucking fantastic. So, you know, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is Darksiders something that you guys are interested in? Is it something that you would like to even dabble in? Let me know. I, I really want to have this conversation. I'm very interested to see what my audience and my community really thinks about a lot of games, um, because we're going to be going into over overdrive. Like when it comes to 2018, there's God of War, Last of Us 2, uh, Days Gone. Like, you know, there's plenty of like, these cinematic type games that I'm really, really looking forward to playing. And I kind of want to know what you guys think down in the comments. So let me know if this has been your first video and you guys enjoy anything that you've seen here today, make sure to click the subscribe button. Also like the video if you can, it greatly helps my channel and uh, pay attention for the rest of the week. I upload daily content. Let me know what you guys think. This has been your boy Jay Sama and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon.